Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 24 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M1097. The M1097 is a part of the Humvee family and basically all it is is a Humvee in a pickup truck form. This basically makes it more of kind of a logistics type vehicle uh, rather than the more kind of troop transport version which is the uh, kind of four door uh, design. This uh, truck here is basically a base model for a couple different variants um, such as the uh, ambulance transport and also the uh, Avenger anti-aircraft missile system. So uh, it is a good base vehicle and just a fun vehicle that you, you can put around your military bases as a just a simple nice little utility vehicle. Uh, I definitely think the design for it came out pretty good and um, it matches up with the designs for the Humvees that I released, the tutorial that had the three different Humvee variants. So uh, it goes really good with those and will uh, you know, again, make an awesome addition to what you guys got going on in your worlds. Anyways, uh, we're going to go and take a quick look at the uh, build, and then we'll move into the tutorial. There's not really much, too much to say about it. Um, basically, we've got the front hood up here. they got the, obviously, the, um, you know, front guard here. The, uh, basically, the radiator or the, you know, grill. Uh, we got the headlights here on both sides. Wheels, the, uh, basically, cab of the truck. And then we have the bed of it back here. So pretty straightforward, as you can see, pretty much matches up exactly with this Humvee. It's just a uh, pickup truck uh, version of it. I think it looks really cool. Anyways, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, let's go ahead and move it into our first layer. We're going ahead and start off with layer one. For layer one, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a block of coal, just like this, followed by a lever, come off a block of coal like this. And we're going to then uh, skip a space of one, place down a narrow block of coal, and we're going to place down a narrow lever like so. So you should get something like this here for the for the build. We then want to go and take our dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, come off these two levers like so. Going ahead and going back from the levers, we're going to place down two narrow brick top slabs across like this, followed by another row of two, a third row, and then a fourth row of two across like so. On the sides here, we're going to place down a sandstone, or sorry, a birch wood trap door, two both sides, a row of two of sandstone top slabs back. Same thing over here, row of two of sandstone top slabs a birchwood trapdoor, again on both sides here. We want to go ahead and then place down a block of coal, come off the birchwood trapdoors to both sides, a lever, come off the two blocks of coal facing inwards, and then come off the two levers, we're going to place down two smooth sandstone top slabs like that across, birchwood trapdoor to both sides, and then a black banner coming off the birchwood trapdoors. So just like that. After that's all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap up the uh, chassis here. And we will be going ahead and moving into making these wheels. Now these wheels are kind of up to what you guys want, want to kind of do for them. Uh, you can go ahead and use buttons on the wheels. So you can do like a stone button or you can do like a birchwood button. Uh, whatever you do. But I do have this design with using banners. Which I think works kind of good for these vehicles and looks pretty decent. And uh, I'm going to go and grab the materials we'll need real quick. And I'll show you guys how to make these really simple banners. Alright guys, so when it comes to making these banners, you kind of have a couple options. So you can either use a gray banner uh, for the color of the inside here of your rims, or you can use a yellow banner. I'm going to use gray because a lot of the pictures of Humvees you're able to find, they do have gray, like this dark gray uh, rim type look. But if you wanted to use kind of a color that's close to tan, you can use yellow as well. Um, if you're going with the banner technique. Anyways, to begin with, we're going to go into our loom here. We're going to place down our gray banner in our loom and our black die in the die section. We're going to select the black border that goes all the way around, like so, and we're going to then grab our banner and put it back into our loom. We then want to go ahead and do the line that goes through the middle here, so just like this, and we can want to go and then grab this banner. We should end up with something that looks like this, kind of looks like a 8, I guess you can say. And we want to go ahead and then place it down on the sides here of these wheels, and it's going to create kind of a rim type uh, look to it, and also create a, uh, you know, kind of nice look there for the wheels. So uh, that right there is pretty much it for that banner technique. Again, you can use stone buttons, birchwood buttons, or you can change the banner color to yellow so that you have uh, a kind of closer to the tan colored rim type look. Anyways, that's pretty much it for what we have here for layer one. Let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and take a loom. We're going to place it down on top of these two levers like so. We then want to place down an upside down stair, come off these two looms to both sides like so, and then coming off the upside down stairs, we're going to place down an item frame with a snowball in the item frame, just like that. From this point, we're going to then take our dark oak wood fence gates, we're going to place down a row of two across, followed by a end rod to both ends like so. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our smooth sandstone blocks and place down a row of four that goes all the way across, followed by a skeleton skull, which is going to be over here on the right side. 
and uh, the right side only. We're going to go ahead and then place down a birchwood plank to both sides, followed by a row four of smooth sandstone blocks to go all the way across as well. We then want to place down a trip bar hook coming off both sides of this row of four of smooth sandstone blocks. Unfortunately, you really don't have much room for an interior. Um, I mean, the best thing I can think of here for this is to maybe put down a couple rails here, some minecarts. I don't know. <laughs> you don't really have much room here for any interior, but just to kind of show a little something going on there, you can do that. And plus, you also have the option to kind of sit in it, I guess. So, some usability there. Kind of cool. And, uh, I need to figure out how to get out of it. I guess so. Go ahead and continue now. We're going to go and then place down a birchwood trapdoor. Come off these two birchwood trapdoors like that to the sides. In this basin middle here, we're going to place down two stone pressure plates across like that. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then uh, replace these two levers here. We can go ahead and replace them with narrow brick top slabs instead, and place down a row two of stone pressure plates on top of them. We then want to place down a sandstone up sound stair here to both sides, like so. And then going off the sandstone up sound stair, we're going to place down a sandstone full block like that on the corners here. We then want to place down an acacia wood button to the sides. Item frames here come off those blocks, red stained glass in those item frames, and a birchwood sign to go ahead and cover them up like so. In those base here, we're going to place down two more pressure plates, and we're going to go ahead and also take our birchwood trapdoors and place down two birchwood trapdoors like that to close up the back here for the tailgate. Anyways, that right there is it for what we have for layer number two for the build. With that, let's move into our final layers here, layers three and four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer three and four. For layers three and four to start off with, we're going to take our birchwood trapdoors and place down two birchwood trapdoors on top of these two looms. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a row of four of trapdoors directly behind it. After that, we're going to place down a birchwood trapdoor or birchwood fence post over here to the right side on top of the skeleton skull and then a flower pot on top of it like so. We then want to place down a row of four of light gray stained glass full blocks, followed by a light gray stained glass painted both sides. We're also going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood sign coming off the side of this light gray stained glass paint over here to the left side, and we can only fit on the left side, so it's only going to be on the left side. We then want to place down a row of four of light gray stained glass full blocks here, followed by a sandstone wall there in the corners. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and go to the top here for layer four. We're going to place down two birchwood pressure plates to both sides. And in the middle space here, we're going to place down two rows of two of birchwood trapdoors. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up what we have for uh, layer number three and four. And with that, we will complete the build for the M1097 uh, Humvee. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do I say you guys give me proper credit for this. If you think you must on the build, tune to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to serve whatever project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. And with that, um, that's going to do it for this video. And uh, I will see you guys next time.